Hi everyone, it's Jeff from Doso Crafts. Thank you for joining me today and welcome to our channel. Today I'm hopping along with the Global Stampin' Video Hop with the theme of mini catalog favorites. And one of our favorite in the catalog is the Fine Art Floral Suite, which includes the Art Gallery Stamp Set, the Coordinating Floral Gallery Dies, and together both can be purchased uh, with a 10% of saving. And I'll be recreating this card. So I thought I would share how I used the background, how I created the background using the gilded leafing embellishment, which is again from the same suite. I'll be changing up the color combinations of the floral arrangement. And I'll show you some other ways that you can use the gilded leafing in your crafting as well. The inks I'll be using are Bermuda Bay, Pool Party, Coastal Cabana, Night of Navy, Pretty Peacock, and Poppy Parade. There is a lot of inks because the stamp set uh, uses two-step stamping technique, which is great for creating different color combinations for your images. So we'll start off with the basic gray card base. So use the normal dimension you're used to, fold it in half, and we'll add the gilded leafing using multi-purpose liquid glue adhesive. So with the gilded leafing, you can use any adhesive, but if you want to uh, use your stamps, you will need your heat and stick um, powder as well as a heat tool. Um, so I thought I'll share with you how I created the background. And remember you do have two ends of the multi-purpose liquid glue. So for the thicker line or stripe, use the broad end. I'm just gonna put underneath. So we're starting off with this. So you can add or press your glue down and I'm just gonna use the spine as a guide on my on my line. So you don't have to be as straight as you want. And oh, kind of like start right at the end and pull it out. I'm squeezing slightly some more, and you can see that it adds a bit more onto your card base, like so. So I decided I I would do this first and then um, do a second line and I'm doing this first so then it'll, it'll give a chance for it to dry so you can go back I quite like the randomness of the stripe and how some areas have got more glue on there so it will adhere more intense gilded leafing but if you want more on some areas you can go back in and add a bit more on there so just be aware that obviously the more that you add on the longer it will dry but you can use your heat tool as well so now that we have those two i'm gonna go in with the fine the pen tip and i'm gonna add lines in between so just make sure you pull off those out and then just go straight in there we go and one last one i've also done um, another background a customized background just using the pen tip and creating random square uh, rectangles and you can see I've already added um, some of the gilded leafing and I decided I wanted more gold leafing onto the background so I have added more of those um, rectangles so put that aside and then we'll do some stamping 
So as mentioned, the art gallery stamp set is two-step stamping. So you have your uh, fuller image and then just the shadows uh, or more details on there. This one fits onto there as well. And you can use the, the stem and the leaves to add underneath the flower. So we're going to start off with the fuller image in a lighter shade of pool party. So just tap, tap, tap and stamp. I want two more flowers. So whilst I have that out, I'm going to stamp it in Coastal Cabana for a darker shade so you don't have two similar flowers or three <laughs> so I'm just gonna stamp that once there so you already have two different shades on there but I'm, I want two darker ones and one lighter one the next one we have the details so for the lighter shade I'm gonna put Coastal Cabana and I use the top end of the stamp as well as the bottom indentation to align my stamp with the two-step stamping. The image is great because it's quite um, there's no specific line so it doesn't matter if you don't hit the, the same areas all the time and once we have that out I'm going to use Bermuda Bay for one of them. Again, a different color. So I'm going up in darker shades. So I don't have to clean my stamps in between. So that's Bermuda Bay. And for the next one, I'm going to use Pretty Peacock. If you do find that your stamp gets too inky, you could always just clean it in between. So I'm going to do Bermuda Bay, uh, ooh, Pretty Peacock. So you can leave it at that, but you do have the small image as well, which can fit in the inside. So I'm going to add Pretty Peacock on this one. Knight of Navy on this one. So it's a lot darker and for the final one I'm actually going to add um, Poppy Parade so I will need to clean my stamp so I'm just going to clean it with a chamois I do like the hint of red in between And then we can use another poppy parade in the card. Next, I'm going to use Old Olive. I didn't show you this, but this one is for the leaves. So I'm going to do that in this design. Uh, this one has got um, matching die as well, but I will be cutting into the die cut. So there you go. So that is the stamped images. I'm going to do more stamping with the triple flower image and again that's just going to be done in old olive and whilst we're using the stamps I'm going to stamp it again in memento for the other card
we're gonna die cut these with the matching dies from the floral gal gallery die so you can see that it die cuts all of those images as well okay here we go here are the images die cut using the stamping up stamping cut and emboss I've also gone ahead and cut the sentiment just want to say uh, from the die set as well and that's going to be for the second card let's have a look at our card so that one as you can see most of it has gone translucent uh, or transparent I guess and the whiter areas still hasn't um, dried yet so what I'll do is um, you can either use your heat tool as well um, but as I've done this card before I'm gonna add gilded leafing on this first and then I'll do this one okay So we'll, with the gilded leafing, it is very light and the flakes can go everywhere if you're not careful. I'm just going to use a stamping sponge to put uh, to take off any excess. So you can either use your fingers or use tweezers as well. I'm just randomly adding the flakes on there that's massive isn't it so as long as you you can see where you need to go anyway with the flakes so just add it on we're independent stamping up demonstrators based in the uk so if you live in the uk france germany austria or the netherlands you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products from our online shop do use the current host code which can be found on our Facebook page or website at mitosocrafts.com and you'll receive a handmade thank you card from us the following month. Check the description below for the product links as well as the next video from the Global Stamping Video Hall. So I ended up using the heat tool just to help it along but now that you can see that it's all transparent we can add our gilded leafing. So again just Add it on spread it out and if you don't use all of it you could always put it back in the pot so that is quite a lot I was being too careful earlier but you don't have to be because it will only stick to the areas that's got adhesive on and just rub it with your fingers make sure all of the adhesive are covered before you use your stamping sponge so I'm just gonna put away the excess and then burnish that even more to make it tidier here we go here are the two custom background uh, created using gilded leafing and multi-purpose liquid glue so you can see more of the design and I like I quite like this because you can use it for masculine cards as well other adhesives by Stampin' Up that you can use, you have the Stampin' Seal Plus, which you can see the lines on there, which is slightly stronger for your constructing um, paper craft. Uh, and this one is just a normal Stampin' Seal. Of course, you can use your tearing tape as well. You can even use your dimensional. So that one's the mini dimensional. And then the normal Stampin' Dimensional don't forget you have your adhesive sheets as well which you can use for die cutting and your foam adhesive strips so that will be raised in a straight line but I thought I just wanted to show you the difference um, in those adhesives as well so we'll continue on with this one uh, as mentioned uh, it's I quite like the background so that's why I die cut the just want to say sentiment so you can just add that on and don't forget your dot for the word just which a tiny one there and I thought and uh, to decorate it slightly you can add 
more of the flowers from just in Memento. So I'll do that now. So I'm going to use Poppy Parade card stock and I'm just going to stamp Happy Birthday on there in Memento and I'm just going to die cut that. And then we can cut these into or you can just have it quite big. It is quite big but I do like cutting into die cuts to make more uh, the most of it. So you have different um, flowers here. So we'll just add this with dimensional, mini dimensional. So that's card one done. We're gonna cut into this and the bottom air is gonna be hidden anyway so it doesn't matter. So the darkest one is that one so I want it there. This one will be there like it and this one we're gonna cut the sprig off as well. Just tidy up the edges. And that's gonna go there. Okay, so I'm just going to adhere those on. I'm concentrating more in the middle so I can insert the leaves if I want to even more. There we go. So if it doesn't fit in, just cut off the end as well. And that's going to go there. And then this one I'm going to raise up a little bit with dimensionals. Before I do that, I'll just insert these on. So that one's going to go there. So hide that extra stem. So we're going to add dimensional on that one. Looks all right. That one's going to go there. And then add this onto there. So half on and half off. Don't forget your leaves on top as well. And add glue on the other side. So I'm going to cut that off on the edge so it doesn't hide too much of the flower there. Here we go. Two different cards using the Fine Art Floral Suite with the art gallery stamp set and the floral gallery dies, adding gilded leafing with multicolors liquid glue. I hope you enjoy these projects. Uh, don't forget to check the description below for the product links as well as the next video from the Global Stamping Video Hall. Thanks again for joining me today. Until next time, bye!